You're at the outpost now. You're representing the government of India. You're trying to help deliver governance. When you think of the, the person in, in, in rural Bihar, in, in Uttar Pradesh, um, how do you connect your role here in terms of helping governance you know, back in the home country? Things that they want to see the government provide. You know, what is the role of the Foreign Service in having this diplomatic corps out there? What, what are some of the you know, main things that you think about when you wake up in the morning of how can I help Mother India function more effectively from the South Post in New York? Can you give us a sense about what that kind of looks like in, in your day job and how it connects back to you know, voters back home and things they care about that you work on? I think, um, uh, you know, it's a very, very relevant question because I think uh, uh, that makes um, all of us, particularly diplomats, question the relevance of our uh, external service, uh, our diplomatic service to, you know, what is the objective of uh, the Indian diplomatic service? It is to prepare an external environment conducive for the transformation of India. So. The transformation of India will not happen only by the efforts of people within India. The transformation of India will happen with the efforts of people within India, people outside India, and friends of India who live outside India. And I think in the, our role comes in the, the last two categories that I mentioned. People of India who live outside India, the Indian diaspora, and, people, and friends of India, people like Rick. How do we connect these two categories of people or communities or countries to India? That is our role. And how do we do it? We do it by issuing a visa. Every tourist that goes to India, he spends money in India. So if I can issue a visa quickly in a day, in half a day, I'll make sure that the tourist travels to India. He goes to India, he creates jobs for a person in Bodh Gaya. He, he visits Kumbh Mela, he creates jobs in India. I facilitate an investor to go to India. He looks at all the options. And if I'm able to convince him that, you know, don't go to China, come to India, you know, I help, I help my country. So I think there are many ways where we play a role. If I'm responsive to him, if I, if I give a positive image of my country, if I'm helpful, if I'm friendly, I think we influence people, opinions at a particular level at an individual level, at a public opinion level, in the media, and general positive impression about India. I think those help in, in, in decisions which help my countrymen back home in Bihar, or in Madhya Pradesh, or in uh, Andaman and Nicobar. And so I think that is the, the role of our service, interpreting India to the foreigner or the Indian diaspora. More and more they involve themselves in India. I think you know my job of transforming India gets fulfilled.